Shogun Review and Beginner's Guide for Shopify. My name is Elias and in this video we are going to take a look at the Shopify website builder Shogun. Now there are many different website builders out there, Shogun being one of them. And in this video we are going to first of all review Shogun. We are going to go over all of the crucial features as well as the pricing and if it's actually worth it to start using Shogun. And then we are also going to get started with a quick beginner guide and a quick beginner tutorial to get you guys an idea on how to get started using Shogun for Shopify. Now as you can see right here. Uh, Shogun basically says e-commerce store design without limits. Now, usually the problem with Shopify is that most of the most of the shopping Shopify stores just look the same. Most of the product pages look the same, and that's because um, Shopify actually has like three, uh, three themes, and most of the shops basically just use all of these three themes all over again, which is okay to begin with. Don't get me wrong. I've also started use I've also started with three themes, but later on in the process this can obviously hurt your conversion rate as a lot of people are already familiar with this theme and think it's just copy and paste which kind of is the case so with shogun basically you're going to get a pretty good uh, website builder and you can run pretty good things as you can see exceed design limits reduce dev cost continue to optimize now with with shogun you won't actually need to code this is going to be a drag and drop editor so that's also one thing which is good to good to mention because because on a lot of other website builders sometimes you will have to have some html or some css knowledge which isn't the case for shogun now as you can see you can actually get a reuse pre-style content store wide so it basically goes hand in hand with your Shopify store and they also recently introduced more things like uh, collect more subscribers so basically you can directly within Shogun you can collect email addresses I think also SMS I don't know I think also phone numbers but I'm not sure and you can then instantly integrate it with email marketing in this case Klaviyo and as you can see um, Shogun currently integrates with five apps first of all Shopify which we are going to cover in this video then BigCommerce this is also an e-commerce shop as well as Klaviyo this is an email marketing tool Recharge which is basically just a recurring monthly payment option for Shopify I think as well as Yotpo which is kind of an all-in-one solution for Shopify also doing things like email marketing SMS marketing and so on now when it comes to the pricing Shogun in my opinion is a little bit more on the expensive side compared to all of the other website builders out there for Shopify. Now, as you can see, Shogun will offer you a free trial, uh, basically a free plan, sorry, my bad, and I will leave you a link for Shogun down below. But with this free, pli uh, free trial, you are only going to get one published page and most of the features are going to be limited. So you can't really build anything too good looking because they're going to limit everything so that you will eventually go for the paid plans. Now, with that being said, the build plan does cost $20, I'm sorry, $19 actually, but it's basically the same. And you will get five published pages, so basically five custom pages, as well as 70 plus templates. Now, now I personally think that the template quality is all right, nothing special, but also nothing too bad, and definitely gets the job done. Now, and the next plan is the grow plan with $200, so quite a big jump, honestly, but actually you can... Uh, I do some additional pages as you can see right here if you want to go for the build plan but you want to buy uh, but you want to build seven pages then you have that option for an additional ten dollars per month for five additional pages so really this is kind of a pay-as-you-go model however if you really want to take it serious and if you already have quite an established business and quite a grow, quite a big shop honestly then you can either go for the grow plan as well as for the advanced plan now and um, Basically, the advanced plan is really and only for super big businesses and if you are one then you would probably have to go with this one as you will also get the visual builder for Shopify Hydrogen. Now as for the grow, grow plan you will basically get, get all of the features for the free and build plan but only unlimited and as well as product page templates, content scheduling, AI, SEO, meta tags. I, I don't know if these are advanced yet but still you have that op option as well as bulk publishing and global snippets. Quite a lot of other big companies already started using Shogun, as you can see, a 13% increase, 275 increase, additional 20,000 in annual revenue, $2.5 million increased revenue, 10%, 20%, and so on. And this one, 250,000 and increased 
conversion rates by 30%. So most of the customers are pretty satisfied with this product. Uh, this also goes for the ratings. Uh, Shogun has a 4.8 rating on the Shopify App Store, which is pretty good, obviously, 5 is the max. Now to get started with Shogun, you will have to head over to the Shopify App Store and then you will have to click on Add App right here. Now, as we've already mentioned, um, Shogun actually offers a free option, which we're going to use for this video to give you guys an insight on how much features you can actually expect to get if you're going to go for the free plan. Okay, right, right now we are on the dashboard. On the left, we can first of all see the store that we are connected to. Then for the dashboard, we can do a quick start doing a new page or we can also see all of the templates. Now for the free plan, we are not going to get all of the templates, but still quite a lot to, uh, to be honest. So for example, if you want to build home pages, you have all of these templates. If you want to build landing pages, you will get these templates, starter layouts, these templates, and so on. Now, one thing which I don't really like about Shogun is that they currently, as it seems, don't really offer product product-based uh, websites, which is, in my opinion, one of the best ways to get started using custom website builders. Now, for all of the other product features, we would have to start a free trial, as well as for the collection and for the blog post. And as for the blog post, we could actually get started setting up a blog post, which I'm not going to do right now because most of you people won't actually need it. Now, to get started, I will use one of these templates right here. And we'll just click on choose template. Now you will get a, a nice tip for Shogun. And as you can see, this is how the editor is going to look like. Now, this is best compared to basically every other uh, website builder editor out there. It is a drag and drop editor, so you can basically just drag everything from the left onto your website. Um, personally, I think the editor is all right. However, in my opinion, there are there are way better ones out there, to be honest. Gem Pages, to name one, has a way cleaner and way more, basically an easier to use editor. However, Shogun is also probably going to get the job done for you. Now on the left, you have all kinds of different things that you can actually add onto your, uh, onto your website. So you have these kind of different blocks, which you can add, which are pre-made. Now right here you have a brand style, basically a style guide, where you can pick all of the heading styles and all of the colors that you want to. Now basically, if you're going to build up your uh, website and if you're going to change the stuff right here, uh, all of your website and all of your themes are going to be, um, are going to be changed to, this, uh, to these settings right here, which is pretty useful. So you don't have to go through the hassle to manually change all of the texts, but you can just use this style guide right here. Now on top, we can actually see an overview of our website. We can go into details. We can select everything the way we want to. And once we have selected any element of our website on the right, we're going to see all of the settings that we are going to, that we can change basically. So for example, if we want to change this image right here, we could just first of all edit the image. Now this is basically to um, crop the image the right way. So let's for example say, if you want to do a close up, you would just have to crop it like this. And as you can see, now we have a close up of this image if you want to. Now, as for the image position, you can change everything the way you want to. You can also make this image clickable. And if so, for example, if someone is going to click on this image, they can then be redirected to a new link. And you can also make it, uh, you can also set it so that this link is going to be opened in a new window. Now, you can also pick another image, which you can just upload, or you can also directly use Unsplash if you want to go for that. Now you can insert all kinds of different structures from the right onto your website. So let's for example say that you want to add a slider, then we, will, then we could just add this and we could then inside the slider add images for example. So that you can also add stuff like countdowns. So basically to add some scarcity to your offer, you can write something like um, offer ends in 20, 20 hours and by using this heading or using this text, and under this the countdown, you can actually add scarcity to your offer so that eventually your conversion rate is going to go up. Now, and as you can see, if you want to go for Shopify uh, stuff, for example, if you want to import judge.me widgets, or if you want to do some forms, you would actually have to go for the paid plans. Right here on top, you can change the view of your website. So for example, you can customize it for mobile view, which obviously is more important than ever because most people will actually look at your website on the mobile phone. Now, in my opinion, Shogun is a pretty solid choice and you most likely won't be disappointed. However, if you really want to take this serious, I would actually recommend you guys to go with gem pages. And also, if you want to go for a free plan, I would actually also recommend you to go with gem pages, just because with the free plan on gem pages, you're going to get one published page, but 
but you get you're basically going to get all of the features that you need only stuff like forms uh, are going to be for the paid plans only but other than that you're going to get everything whereas on shogun if you're going to go for a free plan you're only going to get very limited features that in my opinion don't make it worth uh, to start using shogun with that being said you can find my gem pages video right here on top and thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you have any more questions, as always, you can leave them in the comments down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible.